you wash off. But this doesn't say to wash off anywhere. Renewing face care. It's fully doesn't say about renewing. I don't know. I don't know. That's annoying to me. Okay. The other two things I got that I want to show you before I get started, so this will probably be part one and part two, is I got two, I know, I don't even have nails, and I still get nail polish, but I fell in love with these two colors. I have wanted this color for so long, y'all. It's called, where's the names now, 592 Giallo Napoli. It is so beautiful. It is the only yellow I would ever wear. I just think it's the most perfect, beautiful yellow. And if there ever was a time to wear yellow, it's spring, summer. Now we're in the summer. This would be really great in spring. But it'd be perfect for summer too. So even though this has been doing really good, I am going to use my little polish remover and put this on tonight. I can't wait. I'm so excited. For winter... I love this color. It is perfect for summer if you want a red as well. And it's like an orange red satin. And it is called Radiant Red. It's number 731. Now, by the way, these have the little Chanel tops to make them pretty and squared off. It's very good marketing in that sense. But you take this off to use the little brush. And it also has little Chanel's on it. Little CC's. But I just love that color. It's a. It's got red, it's got pink, it's got orange. And it looks absolutely wonderful. I love it, love it, love it. So these are my two that I got. And do I have my blue? I don't have my blue. These two and my, um, I can't think of the name of it right now. But my favorite blue from Chanel. I could probably live off these three. No, I couldn't. I've always got to have a pink. <laughs> a light pink too. Okay. That being said, let's try this ultra tint and see. Give it a good shake. Let's see if it's worth all the hype. So I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I'll use this It Chic Foundation Brush from Christmas last year. I do love It brushes. I probably should use the Chanel brush just because. Okay, and it is a pump. I'm going to do two pumps and see how that does for us. Let me knock off. You know when brushes sit like that, it makes no sense that they would ever sit like that. They really should sit on their side because they're just collecting dust. Okay, nothing's coming out. Whoop, there, there, it did come out. Okay. I'm going to get the, clean it off with the brush. And let's just get a mirror and do this. Let's do this. So I'm going to put it on either side of the cheek, on the nose. Especially back there where I have a lot of problem. That's where I'm going to put down first have a lot of age spots on the lower part, like underneath. I also have a little problem right there. Oh, this has excellent coverage. This is really full coverage, and you can tell. <laughs> okay. Let's go on either side of the nose. Oh, you may notice I do have a little bit of eyeliner on. This is the Chanel uh, Amethyst, I think is what it's called, eyeliner. It's purple. I'm sure you can tell I have it on. And it does for green eyes. It's supposed to make your eyes pop. <laughs> so now I'm just going to... Just kind of fill this in. It does feel moisture-wise. I'm going to be very careful not to get that on my earring, but to get my ear. Y'all, I hate to say this. I really like it a lot. It's pretty good coverage. It has covered my age spots. What are the odds of that? Huh. What do you think of that, y'all? It's covering my age spots. Then with what's left over, I just go on the forehead between and on down into where I had it. Drop your jaw and blend in. Honestly, look at the color match. It's so good. I almost don't have anything to blend. Wow. This really stinks. This is a great product for me. We'll see how it holds up, though. We don't know. We don't know. Just use what's left over on the brush. 
to go down the neck and I don't want to get anywhere near that pearl <laughs> but I will get up here I have this little um, skin tag do y'all get those do you older ladies get those hey, young girls you're gonna get them I had one right there and I nicked it with my bra strap and so now I've, it made it bleed and it got red so I'm just gonna cover it with a little bit of this which is kind of like having powder I am gonna lift this and just kind of blend out I'm just not getting anywhere near the pearl pearls are very porous I think it just hit it and all that's left is nothing really shouldn't be okay I just use whatever's uh, left over to kind of draw that same color down and um, yeah you know what I really am going to wipe under there because I don't want a lot of um, makeup getting on my necklace I just cleaned this Ruby oh, sorry I gotta sit on my foot you're not supposed to I know but I like to okay all right so that's it that is the look of this foundation what do you guys think tell me I honestly feel like it's a perfect color match that really really stinks do you think it looks over made up mm. it kind of reminds me if you want to know the truth it reminds me of the uh, La Mer it really does, but the smell of it, it does not smell as good as my Perfection Lumiere Velvet. But it's, it's got, it's a lot heavier coverage. And I would imagine that Lumiere also is heavier coverage. Oh, wow. What do you think, y'all? Well, I think, I mean, if I've gone this far, I might as well go ahead and throw all this, these little boxes away. How are y'all doing? I didn't even say, how are you doing? Are y'all doing okay? Let's see. What kind of a look should I go for today? How about... Um, let me get my brush over here. How about I do... Oh, I didn't wipe this off. Remember, always have your little makeup towel handy below. And wipe off your brush. I'm going to have to do a deep cleaning tonight. And I feel like it's going to take hours. Because I've got so many brushes to clean. So that's the other thing. When you have too many brush sets. Just stick with one. I'm learning about what Jesus meant when he said about the lust for more. And it is annoying. To say the least. And he tried to tell us that. Because I've got so much stuff. It is annoying. And that's exactly what he told us to watch out for. And I didn't listen. And now I've got so much stuff, it just pops out of everything. I wish I'd listened to it more. Um, I give some of this away to my fam. Just so y'all know, if you say, well, why do you give some of it away? I do. I'm just going to use this a little bit under there. Don't worry, we'll blend that out. I know it's very white right now. Yes, I know, I know on the inner corner real good come across just gonna even everything out and do you know what this is highlighter and you know what else I'm gonna use this uh, destined this is a um, what's the word contour palette <laughs> and I'm using it for an eye palette yep Hmm, that's interesting. That looks very um, crepey. For older skin, when you do a lot of powder, that's why a lot of older ladies switch to creams, but I feel like it then, you're, then it just sets in your wrinkles. It doesn't really help to do that, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of this Caribbean, which has got a pink undertone to it, to put all the way down in the crease. Yep, kind of going for the au naturel look in a way I guess I don't know if that really is but it's kind of blending together those two colors and then I guess we could take bold spirit and go on the eye there we go just a little bit on both there and I've done my eyes with contour palette yep um, as long as you've got a highlighter and a contour and a blush in a contour palette, this is the um, Pirates of the Caribbean um, limited edition that was done by Lorac. But, I mean, there's so many other palettes like this. Like, here's my Sigma blush palette. And again, 
it's got you you really could take this on vacation you wouldn't even need to take anything else because you've got highlighter you've got a transition color and you've got a crease color and you've got blush and you could do that color as well that kind of melon color so really no kidding you can use these kind of palettes just for that what is that Sometimes I don't know what I have in my door, and it, I just find out about it, you know. I think I have two Bliss Butterflies. Let's use it. <laughs> Let's use this blush, even though that was a blush palette. Let's use this. This is the Chantecaille I bought, remember? We'll just keep it back here. Go on up in the hairline. And round it out a little bit. This is just a really good, I have to admit, this is a good color for me. She did talk me into it. <laughs> she's a good little salesman. That's what she's supposed to do. Sales lady. Sales person. Whatever. Person who sells stuff to suckers. <laughs> so I'm just going under my chin, just almost like a U, all the way around from jowl to chin to jowl. And I'm just making a U. What's that do? It's making a shadow. Then I go back and fill in and come down a little and then go almost make a line right there on the jowl. Again, almost make a line and come down right there. Focus on the jowl and focus right here in the center. Bring it down and it just creates. I come up a little on my chin because I've got a very bulbous chin. And again, this is the Chantecaille Butterfly. And there is my look before I put on any of my liners, mascara, brow. So this is the look of the makeup with blush contour on and a little eyeshadow. So I'm going to go into part three. You don't have to keep going for that. But if you do, you might enjoy it because I'm going to try some new liner. Yeah. Might be nice.